Hello YouTube, Bowtie Media here, and it is the time of the year for Spotify Wrapped. I'm super excited for it. Uh, I always love it. It's like a little tradition for me of going through on, it's I think normally December 1st now, and actually seeing what my top stuff of the year is. So uh, before we get into that, I'm gonna try to jump in right away. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple predictions. Uh, there's three main predictions or three main categories that are pretty much I think the same, the, stay the same every year. That's uh, hours listened, uh, top artists, and top songs. So hours listened. Uh, my guess is I'll actually hit about 90,000 this year. Uh, that would be my prediction. So I think I'm gonna be just around 90,000. I think I was 80 something last year. I think I maybe did a little bit more this year. Uh, top artists. Uh, number one will be Tristam, without a doubt. Uh, number two, I think will be a mix up between Porter Robinson and James Blake. So I think those are one, two. If I had to guess, I actually might, no, I'm gonna say Porter. I'm gonna say Tristam, Porter, James Blake. Uh, I'm gonna say Churches is four, uh, the indie group Churches. And uh, five is either uh, Kanye West or Bo Burnham. I think it's gonna be Kanye though, just because of quantity of songs uh, that Kanye has versus Bo Burnham. So uh, that is my prediction. So I think it's gonna be Tristan, uh, Porter, uh, <laughs> uh, James Blake, Churches, Kanye. And for top song of the year, uh, this one I think might be a little harder. I think I can get, all the ones I name I think are gonna be at least top 10. I think number one will be With Love Until We Die. I think number two will be uh, probably, actually Life Is Not The Same uh, by James Blake. Uh, number three, my actual guess is gonna be Children in the Dark by Tristan, uh, just because I think that was a song I listened to a ton, a ton when it first came out before the whole album did. Uh, four, I think might be uh, How Not To Drown by Churches. And five, I'm gonna say Unfold by Porter or Ruthless by Tristan. Uh, so those are my predictions. So those are those are my full predictions. So let's actually get into it because you know this is uh, fun. So let's uh, let's open up my Spotify. Uh, my Spotify Wrapped 2020 2021 is here. So uh, here we go. I'm not gonna have any audio because some of the stuff might be copyrighted. But I got Grant playing off the bat here. This year is anything but normal. Hmm. Ready to get into the thick of it? Absolutely I am. I am stoked for this. It's fun animation. Your wrapped is here. And action. If 2021 was a movie, you were the main character. I'm sure it's that for everyone. And what's a movie without a soundtrack? Opening credits are, okay, State of Wonder. This is cool, because this is the song came out early in the year. Um, and the one I listened to a ton when it first came out, and so. Teardrop Reflection of the Pond is Caloratura. That's a, that's brilliant actually. Like this is a quite a, can be a tearjerker. Uh, Ancient Vengeful Sphere is Violent Delights. Okay, okay. This is interesting. This is a, this is actually really interesting. In 2020, you had what you uh, did. Plain bo box, what? I don't know, I can read that for some reason. Oh, only 69,000 listening. That's more than 95% of other listeners in Canada. Okay, a little less than I expected. I thought it was gonna go a little bit more, but clearly not. Well, everyone's trying to figure out what NFTs are. You had one song on repeat. No way, Ruthless ended up being my number one song. Wow, okay, I was wrong. I guess because it came out earlier and I listened to it a ton earlier. That wasn't the only song in your rotation. This is Children in the Dark. What's it gonna be? Okay, okay. So Ruthless uh, is number one, With Love Until We Die is number two, Children of the Dark is three, and then Life Is Not the Same is four, and State of Wonder is five. I'm, I'm surprised that one is, that is as high as it is, State of Wonder. I think probably because it came out early 2021, and uh, there's not a ton of stuff that comes out early, and so it was like the song that I really, really got attached to early on in the year, and so I think I just played that on repeat over and over and over again. So I think that's why State of Wonder is here. But we'll see what the whole list is like. You deserve a playlist as long as your skincare routine. I don't have a skincare routine. Okay, we'll add this to the library and then we'll go we'll go look at all those songs at the end. Even your music gets a vibe check. Yeah, what is this aura thing? Entering wrapped multi-dimensional mode. Uh what does this mean? Some moods are nurturing and wistful. I don't even know what wistful means. What is, I mean, I listen to nurture a lot. Is that why it's nurturing? 
What does that even mean? I listen to like a lot of EDM. I don't know, whatever. You always understood the assignment. You listened to 108 different genres this year, but we would have been proud of you. Oh, oh. Your top genres, Future Bass, Dubstep, Electro House, Vapor Twitch, and Prog House. What the heck is Vapor Twitch? Well, I don't know what that is, but okay. How well do we know you? We're talking 3 a.m. playing music with no lights on you. Let's play Two Truths and a Lie. Oh, this is fun. I like this. I like this. Tap the false statement. The artist you appeared most in your playlist was Rufus to Soul. That's false, I think. The artist you binge listened to the most was San Holo. The song you binge listened to the most was Ruthless. I think it's Rufus to Soul. Uh, who appeared most in your playlist? Oh, I didn't. I tried to tap it after, but I ran out of time, I guess. I should have held it, but the correct answer was, was Rufus Soul. I set it off the, I set it off the bat. I think uh, I, I just got into them this year, so it wouldn't make any sense. And I listened to the San Holo album a ton and then kind of stopped listening to it after. So uh, the artist who appeared the most in your playlist was James Blake. Okay. That actually surprises me. So your BFFs can beat the challenge. Okay. Interesting. You listened to uh, 1,764 different artists, but things got pretty serious with this one. It's Tristan, baby. Top artist was Tristan, 0.05% of listeners. I didn't hit zero one. That's tragic. That's sad. Uh, I told us spent 3,384 minutes of them. I couldn't get enough of Ruthless. Okay. In fact, you found a lot to love this year. Top artist, here we go. Tristan, wow. I didn't, I was actually pretty wrong. Interesting. Tristam, Porter, Casbo, San Holo, Kanye West. Huh, I think I need to take into account more uh, quantity and more over, I was thinking more like just the last couple months and obviously it's a whole year review. And so I listened to the Caswell album, which came out, I think October of 2020. So I listened to that a ton in the new year. San Holo came out with a whole giant album and so did Kanye. Um, so, wow, I guess I'm I'm genuinely, even though I like been listening to a lot of James Blake recently, I'm surprised he's not on here. But um, I guess that's how it is. So, hmm. Thanks for making us a regular part of your totally regular year. Didn't they say like the same stuff last year? They were like, oh, but it's such an irregular year. So, um, yeah, so here's my stuff. That's kind of fun. Oh, it's just all the different things. Okay. Okay, let's go back and listen to this playlist now. My Spotify 2021, my whole, I just did it. Uh, my whole list, let's see. Ruthless, With Love Until We Die, Children in the Dark, Life Is Not the Same, State of Wonder, okay, Unfold is next, Take a Chance, Kalora Chura, 100,000 People, Holidays, Black Beauty, How Not to Drown is that low, wow. Um, I wonder, I don't think this is the case, but so this song isn't liked on my thing, and that's because I unliked the single song and then liked the album version of it. I don't think there should be a difference. Like, I think it recognizes that those two are the same song, but that's that. Uh, goodbye, uh, let go, can you feel the love, look at the sky, say what you will, opposite to track, different musician, GPS, fix it, burn, wind tempos, leave the door open, more to give, violence, heaven and hell, sense, mirror, over the edge, talk slow, can you hear it, red eye, mistake, I know the end, Sweet Time, Memory Bank, 1992, On My Own. Oh, what a jam that song is. It's like a guilty pleasure of mine for sure. Uh, something Comforting, Lost in the World, Shut the World Out, From No Height, uh, Welcome to Internet, Get Your Wish, uh, Where Will We Go, What's Your Name, Wisdom, This Is How to Fall in Love, Play Pretend, Off the Grid, Holy Kalama Fuck, uh, Wishes, Flashlight, Frozen, It Gets Better, Free, The Making of a Paracosm, Blossom, Hurts to Hate Somebody, uh, Empty Bed, Loon, Lifetime, Savior Complex, Famous Last Words, Stain in Love, Wheels Up, The Feeling, All Eyes on Me, The Taste, Snow, I Walked Right Into It, Bridge, Supersonic, Mother, Pigs in the Sky, Find Your Way, Stay, Dory, Mi Faso, Latido, Like You Do, Step Out, Constellations, Trying to Feel Alive, Give Me Love, Dirty Paws, uh, New Magic Wand, If I'm Insecure, Nam, uh, That Funny Feeling, The Bandit, Every Breath, Blue, Random Acts of Collision, Orbit, Hypnotize, Hurt, Me Too, One More Mouse to Go, and It Always Ends Where It Begins. That's a great way to end it off though, It Always Ends Where It Begins. Uh, also, this is my fifth consecutive year with Constellations uh, on my list, which is just a thing that will always be because it's my favorite song of all time. Um, but yeah, that's my wrapped. Uh, thanks for 
watching this video and uh, hanging out with me. I'd love to know what you guys, what your top artists are, your top songs of the year, what your top uh, even music played, how many hours you listened to this year. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot of you that beat me with the 69,000. Um, also, uh, I'm gonna end the video by just saying, uh, nice.